Welcome everyone. We have learned a substantial amount of Python. Let us now take the knowledge that we have and try to learn a new programming language, this time the C programming language. Now in this lecture, we will take a look at what it takes to learn a new language. And what I'd like you to take away from today's lecture is that it isn't always easy to learn a new language, mainly because we have now got comfortable with certain ideas in Python. And if we see similar syntax in the C programming language, our minds are going to expect that the behavior of the C code and the behavior of the Python code are going to be similar we won't be able to help ourselves. This is just the way the human mind seems to work. So I'd like you to be very careful about the similarities between C and Python because some of those surface level syntactic similarities translate into different semantics when it comes to Python versus C. So we will introduce ourselves very briefly to the C programming language and then we'll take a deeper dive in our next few lectures. So to get started, I'm going to share with you uh, an interesting paper. So this one is talking about some of the challenges that developers face when they transition from one programming language to another. Now what the researchers did in this paper is they examined a bunch of posts on the popular website Stack Overflow. And they focused on posts where the people asking the questions were explicitly saying that they were familiar with one programming language and then they were asking questions about a new programming language that they were trying to learn. And what these researchers found was that in 61% of these posts, they found that the questioner had an incorrect assumption about the target language based on the language that they were comfortable with. And the researchers call this interference. Now in the paper there is this very nice table and you can see that depending on which language pair people are going between, the correctness of their assumptions varies substantially. Now I'm going to try and take you from Python to C. That particular pair is not on this list, but the closest pair is Python to C++. And notice that in about half those posts on Stack Overflow, the question being asked had an incorrect assumption uh, relative to the language that uh, the developer was trying to target. And that assumption may have been true in the language they were familiar with, but not in the language they were changing to. Now, 50% is not great, but it's actually a little bit better than some of the other pairs that are out here. Just to give you a sense of what these confusions might look like, here is a little quote from that paper. This was a developer who was familiar with R and was trying to learn Python. And at one point in this Stack Overflow discussion, this person is saying, I'm seriously confused. Maybe I'm thinking too much in terms of R. Maybe I'm thinking too much in terms that are familiar to me. And all of us are likely to do this. And this developer is saying, I can't wrap my head around what's going on in Python. So it's important to keep this in mind that when we take our first steps into learning another language, we must understand the differences between the language that we know and the language that we are about to learn, particularly paying attention to syntax that is familiar. 